From a build-your-own nuclear reactor kit to needle-sharp lawn darts, we're counting down 10 of the most dangerous toys of all time. Number 10. Ah, the crafts that any child can do at home. Drawing, painting, and that good old standby glass blowing. The Gilbert Glass Blowing Kit came with instructions on how to create all kinds of molten glass items. Any parent would be proud to discover that their child has made them a brand new flower vase merely by heating up glass to over 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It's okay, it's safe, because the glass blowing tube kept the red hot glass several inches from their face. Number 9. Teach your kids to always finish their meals with the Cabbage Patch Snack Time Kid. Put something in the doll's mouth and watch it eat the whole thing. What more could you ask for? How about an off switch? That's right, it couldn't be shut off, so when little Susie's hair got stuck in the unsuspecting maw of a snack time kid, it was the kid that became the snack. After a few dozen injuries, Mattel claimed, my bad, and the recall went through in 1997. Fortunately, they only made five, hundred, a uh, thousand of these things. Child's Play. Number eight, the Gilbert Uranium 238 Atomic Energy Lab. That's right, the Gilbert Uranium-238 Atomic Energy Lab. Complete with nuclear fission reaction chamber, electroscope, spintharoscope, uranium-238 radioisotopes, alpha particle emitting lead-210 and polonium-210 radioisotopes, beta particle emitting ruthenium-106 radioisotopes and gamma ray emitting radioisotope zinc-65. It even came with a Geiger counter complete with 3C batteries. What could possibly go wrong? Number seven, if you've ever thought to yourself, my family barbecue is missing something, and then you suddenly realize that missing thing was four razor sharp darts, then jarts is for you. The best part is it's an outdoor game for the whole family. Until this happened. Hope you remembered your tetanus booster, Johnny. Now it's just an outdoor skill game. For adults, solved that problem in a hurry. Let's all raise a beer to the finest lawn game since horseshoes. Number six, you want to know what you're getting into when you start an expensive hobby like remote control airplanes. Otherwise, your whole plan could blow up right in your face. No, literally, blow up in your face. And with the Sky Rangers remote control plane, that's exactly what happened. This aircraft exploded a reported 45 times, causing injuries to the hands, eyes, and face of those who were lucky enough to find this under their Christmas tree. Should have asked Santa for a Red Ryder BB gun instead. Number five, this peculiar ping pong ball shooter operated on magic. That is the magic of calcium carbide combined with water to create an extremely flammable acetylene gas. Yes, that acetylene. The explosion to propel the ping pong ball would often shoot out the back of the gun and burn the wrist of whoever was having the time of their life. These pistols were basically little grenades waiting to go off. Keep in mind, this delightful ray gun of death was released in the late 1940s, when seatbelts were still an option in some cars. Number four, colossal water balls. A little ball that when soaked in water grows 400 times its original size. What a colossal waste of time. And hey, look at that, they were nice enough to make it look just like candy. All it takes is swallowing one of these bad boys, and the next thing you know, you've got a couple of Oompa Loompas rolling you out of your house. But seriously, these things couldn't be seen with an x-ray, so the next step is a rousing game of emergency surgery. Number three, why have your child learned to ride a bicycle at age six when you could get them going three years earlier with the Fisher-Price Power Wheel Motorcycle, complete with no training wheels? This ill-devised mini Harley came complete with an on pedal that liked to stick in the on position. Talk about putting the pedal to the metal, then putting your toddler into a metal pole. Thankfully, it was recalled the year after it was released. Number two, rare earth magnets. They're not just for science anymore. Magnetics allowed you to play and build with the most powerful magnets on the planet. But much like a lot of other toys on our list, they ended up in the mouths and stomach of children. Will they ever learn? The problem occurs when two or more magnetic balls were swallowed and they had a tendency to find each other, even if it meant going straight through intestinal walls. Pass the Tums. 1.1 million units were recalled in 2007. Whoops. Number one. It's pretty simple. Arrange the beads in any pattern you want, add water, and make the beads magically fuse together to bring out your inner artist. 
Unfortunately, it took years after the release of Aquadots for toxicologists to discover that these beads can create a chemical that mimics the date rape drug. The bad news is that swallowing Aquadots has caused children to become comatose. The good news is that at only 17 bucks a kit, you get a hell of a lot of bang for your buck. Thanks again guys for watching, we're a new channel and we're growing really fast but we need your help so if you like the video, click like and subscribe to our channel. And Daily Pink Slip's going to have brand new videos every week so don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, those links are in the description below. Uh, and feel free to leave your comments, we love to hear what you've got to say out there and, uh, and give us any ideas that you have for future videos.